football is equally three parts, offense, defense, and special teams. But being a specialist requires a certain personality. We're different. We're a different type. Being the specialist, like, no one really kind of thinks about you until it's your time. You got a pretty thick skin to be a specialist, knowing that you only have a couple of opportunities a game to, to do what you're supposed to do. That's the third uh, phase of the game, and we always talk about how points, uh, points and flipping the field are, are big, and uh, when you play in a division like the SEC West, I mean, you've got to have it. Anytime you can get points, it's good. And uh, when you have a when you have a, a great field goal kicker like Gary is, uh, you can you can do certain things. You can game plan around it. That game at Texas A&M was a big part of it. Him coming out and uh, hitting that game winning field goal. I mean that's huge. The difference between winning and losing. The whole team we believe in him every time he goes kicking because we know, and he knows that we need them points. Look at this, folks. It's 3.44 to go. Texas A&M leads 28-26, and Shea Patterson, the young freshman in his offense, has a very short field. They'll start at the Ole Miss 42. Well, I think everyone knew that Gary was probably going to have the opportunity to go in there and win the game for us. When we were down by two and we got the ball back, I had kind of already made up in my mind that it was going to come down to the kick. So I just started kind of making sure that I was, you know, locked in and doing my warm-up kicks and kind of mentally, you know, getting ready. Gary Wunderlich is 18 of 19 in his career. He's hit two of two tonight. He leads the SEC. He was second in the nation in percentage, a tremendous weapon. I remember looking down the sideline, all the guys that sort of linked up and some of them were on a knee. It's a confident feeling to know that if we're on the road at A&M, we can send Gary out there and everybody on our sideline knows he's going to make it. I tell you what, Richard, just great to be in this position, but let's see if Wanderlick can do something special right here. Everything should be in rhythm. Texas A&M is out of timeouts. So they can't ice him here. He's five for five. Here's the kick. He's got the distance. It's on its way, and it's good! Gary Wanderlick! does it again, and the Rebels have taken a 29-28 lead with 37 seconds left to play. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Gary's nickname is G-Money, and we knew if we get it close, he's going to get the job done. I mean, I just, I had confidence in myself, um, and I had confidence in my snapper, my holder, uh, on the protection, so I knew that we could go out there and get it done. Kickers are used to pressure. But with success comes a newfound place in the spotlight. Oh, I've just been asked to put a tux on and show up. 2.30. I had it in high school when I still fit in it. So I, I forgot I had one. So we have looked through the closet. James Bond, uh, golden, golden leg. What, what did you do to prepare for this? Oh, just took a shower and uh, walked over here after practice. Um, we're going to do it with, without. A football, and then we're going to do it with a football, where the football kind of, you kind of hold it sort of like he's got that gun. It's basically the exact same moves. The right hand on shoulder, left hand on his, like, hi. <laughs> yeah, yeah, here. I'm this way. Rachel okay. Levin, right, ladies here. and gentlemen. Yeah. Right. Friends were kind of making fun of me. They were telling me I better uh, step up this season and kick the ball well now. So, it's this way. That's cool. Yeah, let's go, let's go the way he did it. Oh, the other hand hit there, there you go. go. There you go. Yes, girl. Stop us when you see the one you want here. Gosh, I don't know. Honey, laugh at them. What do y'all think? Yeah. 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 I think they're all cool. <laughs> I think it's so cool. It makes y'all look 10 foot tall too. Yeah, it does. Well, just did a James Bond photo shoot. Now I'm headed back, watch a little film, kick a few field goals, and that'll be that. Through their four years at Ole Miss, Will Gleason and Gary Wunderlich have forged a strong but unusual bond on special teams, making them somewhat of a dynamic duo. They're both two different type of type of guys, but they're so close to each other. And I like how they like feed off each other's energy. We do feed it, feed off each other, knowing that we're kind of both opposite sides of the spectrum. I think we hit a nice medium where we're both. We're both in the zone in terms of kicking, but also we're able to switch off and uh, relax a little bit of practice. Yeah, Gleason's a lot you know, looser, I guess. He's kind of jokester, always joking around, and I'm always just on the sideline, just kind of locked in, showing no emotion. Don't don't let it fool you. Gary does have a personality. He just he just put on the act. Don't don't let that fool you. 
Gary the Leg Wonderland. Somebody's getting knocked. Don's getting knocked well, out. Yeah. Am I scared of Gary the Leg? Mm. We already called the ambulance. Yeah, no, I don't think I'm scared. I'm scared of Gary the Leg Wonderland. So they're two great guys. Funny, because like one's dry humor and one's like outrageous funny hits. It's it's pretty cool. It's pretty funny, but he he can he can loosen me up every now and then. I don't think you beat me ever, haven't you? Oh, no bug loose. Oh, all right, now we're going to get bug loose. Big game and the cameras are on. Backhand, guy, let's see it. Oh, oh. you're crumbling. <laughs> Just another one in the books, nothing spectacular. Gary's nothing special. Gleason, I guess, oh, he got my head. He he's got me messed up. I should have. I'm still the best in the team. But. Yeah. A couple bad games. You will always just kind of like joke around with people, like make fun of people and stuff. I think it's just kind of an Australian thing. I don't know. Hey, do you reckon that notice if we traded uh, traded jerseys? I mean, I'll carry the carry the rock a little bit. You know what I mean? Cool. You can punt for a day, can't you? It's all fun and dandy until we get out there and it's blowing a hurricane. His arms are spaghetti. His weak arms are spaghetti. The spaghetti on his spaghetti already. Mom's spaghetti. What's it like playing a normal position? They bring they bring great energy to it because when we're doing drills, they're always over there with the corners and safety, so I get to spend a little time with them. <laughs> Any flag on that? I reckon. He should be throwing me the ball, I reckon. It's tough playing receiver. I think I picked the better position. Just from experience uh, throughout my career, you leave those specials alone. You let them be who they are and uh, let them get prepared and do the things, their, their normal routine, and, and let them go perform at a high level. But a uh, huge contrast uh, between the two guys. Not too much hot sauce. Ready, red, ready, red. That's the one. Nice one. Ready, red, ready, red. Good snap. Good kick. Thanks, Peanut. Thank you, sir. Good job, sir. Click, click. Boom. Boom.